So, uh, yeah, subscribe with all notifications on. Hit the like and all that good stuff. And uh, let's uh, jump into it. What's up to everybody in the chat? Comment hashtag PTD live if you're live. Hashtag uh, team replay if you're on the replay. Uh, big shout out to Brian Middleton for sharing this about the DoorDash drivers <coughs> being hired by restaurants. So it says... Uh, DoorDash lets restaurants add their own delivery drivers to its service. One of the first restaurants to use DoorDash uh, self-delivery is Jimmy John's. DoorDash will allow restaurants that prefer using their own people for delivery to use its platform to reach more potential customers. The company has launched a new product called DoorDash Self-Delivery, allowing restaurants with their own fleet to list themselves on both its main platform and or caviar. DoorDash says the options could increase restaurants' visibility in their area while being in control of their end-to-end -end customer experience and creating new opportunities for their existing staff. In the new product sign-up page, the company says restaurants that go for the new option will pay a reduced commission rate. Well, I guess that's good because that was a problem, though it didn't say by how much. But keep in mind, it's usually around 30%, you know, with us as freelance drivers. One of the first restaurants using self-delivery is Jimmy John's, which will add 2,400 listings to the platform's marketplace. Um, restaurants that uh, sign up under the option can set a delivery zone and price their own delivery fees. They'll be listed just like any other place that uses DoorDash, but customers won't be able to track their courier progress. A uh, platform will note if a place uses its own fleet on its page so customers are aware. <coughs> DoorDash rolled out a bunch of new products and services over the past months to cater to more people's needs in the midst of the pandemic-related lockdowns. Uh, it started offering non-prescription essential services from Walgreens and CVS a few months ago. They more recently gave customers the option to order from convenience stores throughout the U.S. So, can I, can you guys all hear me? John, what's up? Uh, what's up? Uh, oh, God, it's a miracle. It seems to still be working. <laughs> so, anyway, I'm just, I'm just curious, guys. Do you agree with this? Do you disagree? Do you like this? Do you not? Uh, basically... Just to give some backstory, Grubhub has been doing this for years. When I first discovered Grubhub in 2016, the fall of 2016, I noticed when I would place orders from certain restaurants, uh, it would work. Um, so, like, for instance, some restaurants would hire their own drivers. It was usually, like, a lot of, like, the more mom-and-pop places hired their own drivers, like delis and uh, places like that. Like, you know, very small restaurants usually hired their own drivers because they didn't get, like, a ton of orders, so they would always, they would have a driver or two on call. <clears throat> um, so, basically, this is no different than, like, the old school days of just, you know, a Chinese restaurant, you have the person who delivers from the restaurant, uh, a pizza place, the person delivers from the pizza place. Um, so basically what's happening here is they're, I guess, just not using the freelance drivers. What's up, Lexi? What's up, John? What's up, Matt? So would you have to apply, uh, through that restaurant to become a driver? Yes, you would. But you see, here's the thing though. If you're working for that restaurant, I think you're working for the restaurant exclusively because you're hired through the restaurant. Um, like for instance, Grubhub, I, there was a, there was a diner in my market um, that used to flip flop like every six months, they would flip flop from their own drivers to using Grubhub's drivers. And I remember, um, that it got confusing because I remember when I was doing the deliveries a lot in that particular area, I remember like, you know, I'd be doing deliveries for this diner and the tips were usually pretty good from this place, uh, from the customers that, that ordered from there. And then all of a sudden the orders just stopped. And then I forgot about the diner. And then like six months later, five months later, I started getting orders for this place again. And I showed up and I asked them when I got there, uh, I was like, Hey, uh, were you guys like closed or something? They were like, no, we were just using our own driver, but you know, it didn't work out. They were getting overloaded because basically what was happening was a lot of the restaurants that get frustrated with us, us, you know, for whatever reason, unfortunately, some of the bad apples sometimes ruin it for the whole bunch, but, uh, yeah, but anyway, um, they would flip flop back and forth and they said, Oh yeah, we were getting tired of using you guys, but then our own driver didn't work out. So now we're using you guys again. So it was just getting confusing, honestly, at that point, but whatever the case is guys, it's it, 
it's a good thing and a bad thing. But the bad thing here is, you know, Jimmy John's is talking about 2,400 restaurants that they want to hire their own drivers. You know what I mean? So basically those are 2,400 restaurants that we can't pick up and deliver for. You know what I mean? So what do you guys think? Do you think that this is a good thing? Do you think it's a bad thing? And also now, would you start hire? Would you start working for these restaurants directly if it means you can do DoorDash orders through them? I don't know. Personally, I want to stay freelance myself. I don't want to be, you know, working for just one place. Um, but Uber Eats, I've been noticing, has been doing this in uh, the past six months as well. Ever since the pandemic hit, a lot of changes have been happening with the apps. So just something to mention. Also, make sure you guys are all subscribed to my other channel, Team PTD. Uh, we're trying to get it to a thousand subscribers. We're like a hundred away. So link is in the description. Make sure to turn on that notification bell and uh, all that stuff. Definitely go over there, watch the videos. There's more content like pay to drive and I will be adding more stuff. So let me know in the, in the comments or the chat if you're subscribed. Leave a comment saying subbed. There are all the names right here on your screen of our current patrons as of the current moment of this video being made. So huge shout outs to all of them. If you guys want to sign up, links are down below. As I mentioned, who's going to be the next patron? Maybe it will be you.